Well, hello everyone, welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Creatures of Ava. This game, which should be out by the time this comes out, the devs were kind enough to send me a code a little bit in advance, is pretty neat. What I've seen of it so far is pretty cool. I'd like to see a bit more of it to get a better idea of what the game is in total. Fair warning, the game does have a pretty melancholy start. That doesn't seem to be a tone it maintains all the time, though, so don't worry, it's not all bummers. Here we go, new game. Uh, you can set your difficulty. Let's just do normal. used to be. Let's just continue with the rescue brief. Wait, something's wrong. Vic? Vic! Tabitha? Are you there? And here we are. We need to heal ourselves. Here are some healing brews. Okay. That's better. A little. Tabitha, I'm here. I'm alive. But our field equipment is... It's, it's... Tabitha? Do you read? Hmm. Nothing. Maybe if I get some height. Head to higher ground. A to jump. Pretty. Uh, left stick to crouch. Here we go. I am still at half health, it looks like. I'd love to get that fixed. Uh, left bumper to sprint. Oop. We're okay. Hey, wait! Ooh! Hey! Cute. Uh, let's see. The Avopedia. We have a new entry. The Kraj. I never imagined I would see a herd of T-Rexes. Luckily, the Kraj are a bit smaller. So, as you've already probably put together, finding and learning more about creatures is a big part of this. As best I can tell. Crouch in tall grass to hide. I'm not sure if this comparison is going to turn out to be apt at all, but from the first, like, ten minutes or so that I played of this earlier, I was getting kind of some Beyond Good and Evil vibes, like, a little bit. And maybe it's not even the vibes of it. I think it was just a few different features and aspects of it that were reminding me of it. I have no idea if that is actually an influence on these devs or this game, but 
if you like Beyond Good and Evil or any part of it, then I don't know. There might be aspects of this that appeal to you. Let's find out. You. It's a whole pack. I can't miss this chance. And we have a camera. Taking photos with your camera unlocks important information about creatures and other characters. You see why I'm getting the Beyond Good and Evil vibes, right? <laughs> so, right on the D-pad to equip camera, up on it to zoom in and out, right bumper to take photo. So, zoom. Look at you. Fierce. <laughs> and we got a new photo. Excuse me. What was that? And more importantly, how big is it? Sounded big. <laughs> Think we're going to need to run for this one? <sighs> oh, yes. Whoop. Didn't mean to be there, but we've got more healing, which means... That's better. I like the color palette a lot. Ooh, yes. Nature photography. Y'all are some weird looking birds. What a beautiful creature. <laughs> Look at those faces. Claw can break ropes to lower bridges. So I have not gotten far enough to see, but in addition to just sort of adding to your little wildlife. <laughs> photo catalog. It seems like these creatures are also going to have actual gameplay utility for you. Very curious about it. Uh, yes, I hear you. I'm going. Sorry for disturbing you. So... Come back here. You're cute. Come back. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> you died. Need some help? Huh? Hello. Tell me what's broken. The legs? It's the legs, isn't it? What? No, I'm fine. I just... Huh? Hang on, you speak my language? You're not the first human to fall on Ava. Always breaking their little legs. Very sad. Mm -mm. What? No, listen, my legs are fine. Strong legs. Good legs. If you say so. Hmm. What are you doing on Ava, strong legs? I hope it's pronounced Ava and not Ava. I have a feeling someone's going to say it out loud eventually, and I'm going to look foolish. Hmm. I'm here to rescue you, and that's not my... Huh? You are here to rescue me. <laughs> you just fell down a big hole. Okay, but listen. And now you're trapped in a ruin because your rubble covered the exit. Correct, but... And all your legs are fully broken. They're not. I think you're rescuing the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I'm not rescuing only you, whoever you are. The infection. We're trying to preserve the whole... The entire... Never mind. Whatever you say, strong legs. Wait, forget about me. What are you doing down here? Been looking for something. Oh. It's... Hmm. You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Got a feeling I won't have to search much longer. Uh, right. Well, whatever the reason, we're both stuck. But I'm going to get us out of here. 
somehow. Let me look around. Oop. See, I can jump. Legs fine. Um, let's poke around. That's the infection. The images I've seen do not convey the smell. Suppose I should take a photo. Ah, oh, never mind. All infections should have the decency to at least look pretty. If you're going to be awful in every other way. <laughs> I like these statues a lot. They're very cool looking. I love the design, but I do also love that they kind of have this shrugging, I don't know, <laughs> sort of look about them. It's, it's not just the hand poses, it's the eyes too. It's a very blank, caught off guard stare. <laughs> Why are you asking me? I have no idea. So, um... Ooh. Whoa! This thing still works? Here we go. That looks like something. Hello. Wow. Hmm. What is this? We seem to be making this temple worse and worse. We haven't been very good for this temple so far. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you humans can't help yourselves. <gasps> Excuse me? You found it and you just plucked it up. No questions asked. Amazing. Ah, you mean the staff. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Ah, oh, don't let it ruffle your strong legs. Huh? The Nafitar is what I've been looking for. It's an ancient relic. Hmm. Are you some kind of... That's right. I'm an archaeologist. You'll want this uh, Nafatar of yours, then. Here. Hmm. Uh, no. That's okay. Y you keep it. Mm -mm. You're the antique collector. I can't carry an old stick around all day. Mm -hmm. That old stick's gonna get us out of here. Use your brain, strong legs. You see that blister over there? The withering's blocking our way. The Nafatar was made eons ago by the Antares. And the Antares? They had ways to cleanse the withering. We just need to learn how. The Nafitar allows you to cleanse the witherings. Use it to remove the wither blossom blocking the way. Hold left trigger to cast a connection ring, and while the beam's active, use right stick to toggle the automatic camera. Okay. I will. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to dip into the settings and see if I can get the subtitle size a little larger for y'all. Be right back. There we go. Okay, hopefully that'll be a little better. Yeah, it's a little bit more reasonably sized. How do you speak my language so well? You make it sound like it's difficult. Huh? What? But I forgot how much you humans love to get distracted. The way out? Mm -hmm. Right, of course. I'll get to it. So, left trigger. Cast a connection ring. Whoa. Is this thing for real? It works. Keep going. Okay. Let's keep knocking these out. Okay. Hmm. Here we go.
And ha! Hmm. One more. Here we go. Get out of here. Hey, uh, Mr. Archaeologist? You're gonna wanna see this. Through stone we teach. Uh, what? The ancient Ataris built these all over Ava. It's a sage stone. See the inscriptions? Well, that was two words Through I was saying stone, wrong. We teach. Hmm. Is there a language you don't speak? You don't know much about us now, do you? Put the Nafitar into that slot. Nope. Three. Go on. Trust me. Three words. There it is. An Antares mosaic. But... It's fractured. Maybe we can... Oh dear. That's well, it. at least... Keep working on it. I can hopefully solve a puzzle. Um... Hmm, we can rotate, we can... Um... Next piece. This seems a little easier to place. There we go. And... Yeah. 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 Looks like a group of those Antares people you love so much, but do you know what's happening here? It's a funeral. The Antares buried their loved ones in the soil. But for each body, they uprooted the tree. Then they made these trees float above the grave as a marker. You're saying their gravestones were floating trees? Are you surprised? You humans have your magic, the Antares had theirs. And I think we just got some of it. Alright. Ushun levitates withered creatures from the ground for some time, making them unable to move or attack. It can also levitate certain objects in the environment. To cast a power, you need to be connected to a withered entity. Press left trigger to connect, and right bumper to cast the power while connected to it. Okay. On the sage stone, they use the word Ushun, which in your language would be... Levitate. So, strong legs. Try to Ushun. Try to levitate something with the Nafitar. Okay. And right bumper. There we go. Hmm. The effect is temporary. Still, this new ability might help us find a way out. I expect so. Let's go looking. Maybe back in here. Um. Yep, I'm seeing a couple of things here that I can move. Perfect. Got it. Another one up there. Hmm. I don't suppose. Hmm. Okay, I can raise it, but this is not a good position. And... Nice. Oop, there we go. This time... There we go. Yes. Good. Yes. We're in. Oh, that crash down there. It's in pain. <laughs> it is trapped by withering. Soon, it will be a withered one. Crazed, aggressive. Perhaps we should... Human! So fierce. Dash and jump to remain mobile during dangerous encounters. These actions cost stamina. B to dash, A to jump, okay. Yeah. No. Don't bite. Hey, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> hey. Knock it off. Eh. Got ya. There's another one. 
Back. No. Stay back. Gotcha. Beam chain. Withered entities that collide with the beams are automatically chained into the absorption. Oh, cool. Okay. There's two of you, so let's see. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Dodging on. two of you is going to be harder, though. Excuse me. Nah. You goofs. There's one of you. One more, one more, come on. Nope. Yeah! Haha! -ha. You're welcome. Shh, easy. What are you doing, human? These creatures are why I'm here. You're here to save the Kraj? I told you. I'm here to save. Everyone. <laughs> well, well. Looks like we found our way out of here. So, Mr. Archaeologist, what do they call you? Let's see. In your tongue, my name is... What is it in Nam? Oh, Nimar. I'm Nimar. Pretty. Stick to the plan. God, I hope she's hearing me. Get that old teleporter working, Vic. Working on it. The human base she's talking about. Do you know where it is? Sure. But listen, human, you can't just go jogging up to that old shack. Why? Is it dangerous? Guarded by some fierce creature? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes. They're called Honlo, chief nam of the village that sits between us and that base. Oh, so you're saying if a human's walking around on Ava again, Ava, right, they, that's how they say it, the chief will want to know why. You'd better meet. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe Honlo will like you. <laughs> uh, let's go. I get the feeling Honlo is not likely to like me. Might as well try, though. Also, I just want to see this place. Cute. Where are y'all going? Eh. One thing at a time. Focus. Although... Couldn't hurt to just take a little photo. Hello. Don't mind me. Ura. Can break jelly barriers. Hmm. Right, sorry. On my way. Greetings, Nimar. We see a human. Why? Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. We speak to Nimar, yet the other answers. Typical human. Tell us, why have you returned to Ava? I haven't returned. This is my first... Listen, we're here to save Ava's life forms. Hmm. The infection, the... Withering, you call it? It can't be stopped. Your planet... Your planet's dying. Hmm. Huh. We have a bio-arc in orbit. 
We're here to save every creature we can. That includes the Nam. I see. That is... very... ignorant. Excuse me? You've been spending too much time with Nimar. Ava does not need to be saved. Ava does not need a cure. There's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. But, Chief, with respect, show us all the respect you like. Until you respect Ava, you won't understand. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry for intruding. Can you at least point me to the old human base nearby? Is that all you need to get off our planet? Hmm. I still have things to do here, but yes. If I can't get in touch with my partner, I'll never be able to leave. Then we help. Talk to Veti. They take an interest in old human dross. Don't ask us why. Veti will help you. Sounds great. Nice to meet you. I knew you wouldn't like me. All right. Um. You could have warned me. Well, it could have gone worse. I guess. Yes. I don't think I've taken photos of you yet. Or have I? Maybe you're just slightly different looking. Different coloration. Still taking a photo. Hmm. I like the other one slightly better. Anyway, let's go meet Veti. Hello. Uh, excuse me, are you... Human, you're back. I knew you'd return for the withering. Excellent news. Did you bring any... Oh, we don't remember the word. Writing stick... Pens? Pens, we love them. Uh... No, no pens. Sorry. Listen. Is that a radio? Can we use it? We want to call old Earth friends. Mm -hmm. You and me both. My radio's busted. But if I can get to the human base nearby... Mm -hmm. Aleph Prime Base, we know it. Let us point it out on your map. Mm -hmm. The door is blocked, but there's another way in. You'll need this tool. Look for the little... Mm, how do you say it? The thingy. The little thingy. Right. I'll keep an eye out. A zip line tool, you say? Well. Let's go find the human base. Keep an eye out for thingy. Use zip line. Y'all are pretty. Hello. We've got a flute player and music notes over one of these here. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm sure that'll be explained later. Hmm. Is there a way we can get in? Here we go. Good. Um, ooh, activate zip line. That's not how I thought this was going to work. Convenient. Okay. Needs power, all right. Um, maybe... Ooh. Rosarem petal. Allows you to craft useful consumables. Okay. Grab a couple for the road. Unless I'm full up on them, which I might be. Okay. Yep. And in. I'll take that. And... Memo from Dr. Margaret Tour. Michelle, I hope you brought your hiking boots, my young friend, because this planet requires some real rambling. Management has me on teleporter setup and zipline duty. You'll find the stations I've set up all over the place, along with some ziplines to help with mountainous areas and such. 
I doubt our colleague, Dr. Kratovas, will make much use of them. The man barely leaves his lab. Anyway, be careful out there. And remember, treat the Nam with respect. After all, we're guests here. Margaret. Good advice. Turn on generator. Hello. Tap. Oh. <laughs> Hey, welcome to here. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid we're not very welcome here. Thank God you're okay. When your signal cut out in the atmosphere. I'm fine, Tap. Listen, you won't believe what I found. I can see it. What on earth are you carrying around? Mm -hmm. It can heal the infection, Tap. Hmm. Interesting. At what range? What's the spread, rate of delivery? Well, it travels a few meters and takes a while. It's kind of slow, but... Vic, I know what you're thinking, but mm. we're two people. I don't think you're saving the whole planet with that. Mm. You know what your parents would have said, right? Huh. Of course. Stick to the plan. Mm. Speaking of which, the taming equipment? Destroyed in the crash, but... Yes? Mm. It's a long shot, but the local Nam seem to have a strong rapport with the creatures. Maybe one of them might help? The Nam? Well, if we're going to start rescuing creatures, I don't have a better suggestion. I'll go ask my friend about it. Your friend? Mm -hmm. Who do you think helped me get here? Yes, we made one friend and at least one enemy. So we're breaking even. Um, so are you going to stay here? For the time being, yeah. But soon I'll go set up a post in the Nam village. Huh. Good luck. Their chief isn't exactly gregarious. Any reason the Nam would distrust humans? And when the last Aleph team was here, they were researching, observing. Mm. They're bound to have had a few minor quarrels with the Nam, but it's hard to say. You'd think the chief would forget a grudge after 20 years. 25. But, yeah, maybe not. So, the whole no-gender thing. Yeah, that. <laughs> Nam physiology's nothing like human beings, and a lot still isn't clear. But basically, there is no he or she to the Nam. It's all they. You'll get used to it. But then, how do they reproduce? Maybe you could ask them? Politely? Very polite? Sorry, I didn't mean to jump at you. That's just a thing I do to end conversations now. Let's not maybe get into that line of questioning with them when we still only have one friend and one enemy so far. I think that question can wait. I don't have to know the answer in the next three minutes. We can be patient. I want to ask about the flute playing, but that would interrupt your flute playing, and that seems, again, rude. Trying to be polite here. Is that a plant or an animal? It's a cool-looking plant. Linda Jar Petal. Cool. I'm finding all kinds of things. Neymar! I could use more local friends. Neymar. Find your human friend, strong legs? Sure did. Hmm. Hey, weird question, but do you know any good shepherds? That's not a weird question. And yes, I know Seb D. They live in the hills. Great. I gotta go. I've got a job offer for them. Wait, 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 wait. Take this. A flute? Um, thank you? Nom shepherds are a bit aloof. To get their attention, you sometimes have to be a little creative. Oh. Thanks for the flute. Press left on the D-pad to play the flute. Ooh. It's a whole thing. Cool. Um, I don't know how to play the flute, but... Well, that will definitely be attention-grabbing, if nothing else. Hmm... This is neat. I'm enjoying their world building already. And I'm starting to get the vibe that this is a little bit more of an open world game than I realized, just kind of looking at stuff here. 
I don't know how big of one necessarily, but yeah, that seems cool. I too have a flute now. Look. Huh. That bad, huh? Well, I'll practice. New plant. So. Where is this shepherd? And should I fix this? Doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Armored. I see. Maybe later. Need to upgrade stick. There you are. Hey, um, give me a minute. Gotta climb up. Um, give me a minute. Hold on. Hello. Septi, excuse me, are you? Hmm. <clears throat> what was it Nimar said? Be creative. Okay. Check this out. What is that noise? Sorry. Vic, pleased to meet you, Septi. So the human is back. Please do us a favor and don't breathe into that flute ever again. Harsh. Look, Sebti, my friend and I need a shepherd. We want someone to guide creatures into our... The creatures of Ava trust only in its songs, and a shepherd trusts only in the creatures. Do you understand, human? Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Guess I'll just walk around playing random notes on this flute then. Bye. Wait, wait. <clears throat> kind human, there's no need for us to quarrel. Maybe we can help after all. Mm -hmm. Great. Come with me and we'll... Most humans are subdued by their own minds. Hmm. Um, if you could... It is a clamor that drowns out all else. The din of their thoughts. Their worries. Their past. The flute. Take it in your hands. Calm the tumult of your mind and learn the notes of the soul. I'll try. Ooh. Song of grass. A D and then an F. Okay. C. Yeah. Much better. Understand, every part of Ava has its song. Jungle, swamp, dunes. The tune you've just learned is the song of grass. The creatures of the grasslands will now speak to you. But to earn their trust, human, you must learn to speak back. Neat. I am slightly less intolerable on the flute now, thank you. So, um... Let's see. I don't really have it memorized, is that okay? Oh, I guess maybe I'm continuing to play the same tune now anytime I bring the flute out, out here. Tame wild creatures by imitating the sounds they make with your flute. Getting too close to the creatures will scare them. Uh, let's see. So that little symbol means the creature's singing. That one means the creature's waiting for you to repeat its song. That one means the creature didn't understand you. Move the right stick to decide which notes to play. This is really clever. All right. So... Yeah! Follow me! Neat. The aura trusts you. How are you feeling? I feel... strange. Light-headed, focused, but... calm? Breathe. Feel your feet on the soil. This next part may not feel natural to you. First... Play the song of grass. Oh, that's Once what your voice play. sounds like. Hear Ava, feel Ava, see Ava, as the creatures see Ava. Okay. Ava vision with left trigger. Ooh. 
Ura, a heavy hitter. Some attacks are extremely powerful and cause heavy damage. And it has a move charge, can break jelly barriers. So let's connect. Whoa. Whoa. What? I'm controlling the creature. The creatures of Ava can be used to overcome various obstacles. Each creature has its own specialty. Try using the Ura to break the nearby fungi barrier and lead the creature into the paddock. Press X in front of the sap barrier to break it. I'm Neat. I'm controlling this creature? No, the Ura controls itself. You only feel its sense of being as your own. But we of Ava help one another. Often our desires align. That's cool. And charge. There we go. Haha. -ha. We've taught all we can. Thank you, thank you. You have no idea how useful this will be. We are just glad your music has improved. And remember, with Ava's song, the notes are beautiful, but the song is born from the rests between the notes. Now, go away. All right, I will do that. Thank you. Hey, Tom. Things are finally looking up. Anam agreed to corral creatures for us. Better. They taught me to do it myself, with music. What? <laughs> I'm a regular Pied Piper now, an artiste. You're crazy is what you are. But look, if it works, then whatever. I've dispatched the first set of rescue bots. Try leading some creatures into the bots' capture perimeter. A test, to see if they're working. <sighs> you know how cheap these things are. What is this now? Before I go do that thing you asked me to do. Um. Sensors. In Ava, you'll find sensors in places that will allow you to admire the natural beauty of the planet. Play the flute in them to earn research points. Oh, okay. Play the song of grass. I'll never forget this place. Cool. <laughs> so we need to find rescue bots. Okay. Um, hmm. How to get... I guess maybe if we go around this way. Okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, that's pretty far down. There it is. Maybe. Um, let's test that fall damage thing again. We're okay. Alright, zip line activates from the other end. Alright, okay, okay. I'm really liking this game's vibe. Creature states. You'll find Ava's creatures in three different states. Friendly, wild, and infected. Friendly creatures trust you, let you pet them, and follow you if you play the flute. Wild creatures may run away or attack you. You must tame them with the flute to make them friendly. Infected creatures will attack you. You must remove the infection to make them friendly. You can shepherd friendly creatures by pressing uh, left to play the flute. Okay. So are we already cool? Um. There. You get it. Pet, 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 pet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that activated. Ride, you say? Oh, this thing. I was going to say. You seem a little small for that. <laughs> Uh, ooh, I don't suppose you'd mind I could trouble you to, um, help me with a little thing. How do I connect with you again? I suppose if I'm playing, then, okay, then I can do Ava Vision, gotcha. Okay, so you can cross creature bridges. 
You can go through creature holes, and you can break ropes to lower bridges. Okay. Yes. Bite. Excellent. Thank you. What a little helper. Appreciate it. Rescue bots allow you to teleport healthy creatures to the bio arc. Lure healthy creatures inside the action area. Interact with the rescue bot to teleport the creatures in the area. Okay. You come with me. Come on. Creatures ready to send? One. Which is enough for me. Yay. Ooh. We have to try rescuing ten of them. Yeah, I feel like animal rescue is not a sort of thing that a lot of games are built around having you do. It's certainly not like action, exploration, open world games like this. Ooh, got some infected ones over here. Let's see what we can do. Nope. 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 Stop. No bite. There you go. Instead, listen to tunes and follow me. Excellent. Come on. Hmm. Can you follow me down here? I don't know if you can. Let me, um... Fix this real fast. There. Come on. I'm always here for a game that is about, like, a different kind of... Well, it's a different kind of fantasy, really. Like, a different kind of goal and experience than just, uh, the usual, like, violent ones you often see in most hey, games. Or even the non-violent ones, just the ones that are, like, very common experiences, like, survive, build, uh, expand, explore, like, all those kinds of verbs, like... Find, befriend, and rescue creatures. Like, this is just a different kind of experience than I feel, that I feel like a lot of games... I, don't, I can't think of a lot of games that are about that. And there being a photography element, which seems to... Hang on, I want to look at my... little collection thing here. How do you fill this research out? Okay, so we have research tasks. Take a photo of a healthy one. Take a photo of an infected one. Pet one. Use their co-op ability. I don't even know what that is. Uh, cure infections, and rescue crowd species. And in doing that, we would get more and more research stuff and learn more and more about them. That's very cool. Yeah, this is a great idea. Let's rescue two more of them. And maybe we'll call it an episode. Can I make things with these now. Uh, this contains white essence, golden essence. Hmm. Crafting might be a thing we've not really gotten to yet. Also, there's a skill tree, which we've also not gotten to yet. You need to know recipes first to craft things. With six green essence, we can make a healing brew. I don't think I quite have that. No, wait, I have six, but, um... Select item... Eh, whatever. I'm sure they would teach us that once it became relevant. Hello! You get yourselves sorted out. Nope. No bites. Come on. There we go. Who wants tunes? Come on. The jams are going this way. Please follow. Let me tidy up real fast. Come on. Actually, I'm going to need one of y'all's help with this. If you don't mind. Um. Do a bite. 
Thank you. What a good little helper. And here we go. Have a fun ride. What? Bots are working. I've set up camp in the Nam settlement. When you get a chance, come see me. I will. Or I would, but I really need to end this episode. Thank you all very much for watching, though. This is a cool little game. I do want to see more of it. Thank you very much to the devs for sending a key so I could check this out. And uh, yeah, definitely recommended if any part of this is catching your interest. It certainly is for me. But I will see you all tomorrow for something else. Take care, all of you. Goodbye! <laughs>